Chances are you have probably got a form like this in the post around the time of your birthday every year. But how many of you actually understand it? Hey everyone, and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video, I will be explaining the Armed Forces Pension Scheme Benefit Information Statement that you receive in the post every year. There are five parts to this document, and the time codes to each part are in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, check out my video where I explain in detail the three different Armed Forces Pension Schemes, as it will help you understand better what I am about to go through in this video, and it's just good for you to know about your pension. So, at the top of part one, the amount of pension. This shows the total annual amount and lump sum figures from all the pension schemes that you are a part of that have built up from the date you joined to your most recent birthday. Do bear in mind that all amounts are given in today's money as inflation is hard to predict, but your pension does increase annually to stay in line with inflation. On the left is how much you will get paid annually from each scheme and on the right is the lump sum you could get. You can see there are two different options on each side. This is because of commutation. It is showing me the amounts I would get if I do not commute my 15 scheme pension or if I do commute it. The AFPS 15 does not offer a lump sum payment when the pension is payable like the 75 and 05 schemes do. But what commutation allows you to do is to give up part of your annual pension to create a lump sum which is payable when you claim the 15 scheme. So for me, if today was my final day and I don't use commutation, then at age 65 I could claim my deferred AFPS 05 pension of £201.68p per year which isn't much as I joined in 2014 and so have very little time on the 05 scheme. But then at state pension age, I could claim my deferred AFPS 15 pension amount of £4,372.94p per year. So from state pension age onwards, I would be claiming both the 05 and 15 schemes amounts, which would equal just over £380 a month in today's money. Not really enough money to live off, but then that's to be expected for having only done eight years. When it comes to the lump sum, under the 05 scheme, I would get £605.04p p at 65 when I claim my deferred 05 pension, and under the 15 scheme, I would get nothing at state pension age, as I have not commuted it. But let's go through what I would get if I go with full commutation. The annual pension for the 05 scheme would be the same, but the 15 scheme has dropped to £3,012.86p per year. For every £1 you give up, you get £12 for a lump sum, and the limit of what you can give up is 25% of your annual pension. So with commutation, my new monthly payment at state pension age would be just over £250. When it comes to the lump sum, the 05 scheme stays the same and will be paid to me at 65, but now the 15 scheme is close to £19,000 which I would get at state pension age. If you want to create a lump sum from your AFPS 15 pension pot, then you need to decide around six months before you claim your deferred pension at state pension age. And once you have made that choice and submitted the forms, there is no going back. So make sure the annual pension you have left over is enough. In the older BIS forms, it used to only show your pension if you fully commuted the AFPS 15. It's great to see them change it and now show you both options as not everyone will commute their pensions and also not everyone fully grasps it. And this makes it so much easier to understand. Moving down, it shows the increase in my pension over the last year and how much I've contributed to it. The Armed Forces pensions are non-contributory, so we don't have to pay into them, but you can add extra to your pension pot from your salary if you want. This is known as added pension. However, as it says, any added pension will not show up on this form. There is a link below to the form you need to fill in to begin adding extra to your pension if you want to. And the bottom of part one is a dependence benefits should you die in service section. This is quite self-explanatory. It shows you who you have nominated to receive the benefits. It shows you how much they might get, but the actual sum might be different as it will be paid based upon your actual pensionable earnings at the date of your death. Make sure your nominee is up to date. The last thing you want is for you to die and the money get left to your ex-wife and not your current one because you forgot to change it. At the very bottom of the page, it tells you how you can change it. Part two is the amount of EDP. As you can see, this section is blank for me, and that is because at the moment I am not eligible for it. EDP stands for Early Departure Payment, and it is only available on the 05 and 15 schemes. It is a benefit unique to the armed forces and separate from the pension. 
EDP consists of a tax-free lump sum which you will get upon leaving the forces and also a monthly income which then stops once the deferred pension is payable. But it is only available to those who do at least 18 years service and leave at 40 years old or over on the 05 scheme and at least 20 years service and leaves at 40 years or older on the 15 scheme. As I've only served around 8 years and I am also under 40, I am currently not eligible for the benefit and so that section is not populated for me. EDP is a great benefit but it is also a retention tool. Watch my Armed Forces Pension Calculator video to understand more about EDP and to see how much it can account for. Now on to part 3. As it says, the amounts stated are how much you could have in today's money at the age you can access your pension if you progress through the ranks at a typical rate. It also assumes you serve full time continuously until you are 40 and that your earnings increase by 15% every 5 years. Now, unlike part 1 where you can see a breakdown between the different pension schemes, it does not offer that here. So the nearly £10,000 per year pension it is predicting for me is made up of both my 05 and 15 pension schemes. Also, the 65000 lump sum it shows is taking into account that I will do full commutation offered on the 15 scheme. And because I can't see a breakdown between each scheme, I can't calculate myself what it might be if I didn't commute the 15 pension. As it says, these numbers are not a guarantee and instead are to be used as a guide to help you plan for your future. And as the BIS is calculated using predetermined averages, using the Armed Forces Pension Calculator might give you a more accurate estimation of your future pension. Part 4 gives you information about the McLeod Remedy. Watch my Armed Forces Pension Scheme video as I explain the resolution to those who are affected. If you joined on or before the 31st of March 2012 and were still in service after the 1st of April 2015, then you are an affected person and you should probably take the time to understand the remedy that has been put in place. If you joined on or after the 1st of April 2012, then you're not affected. Then lastly, part 5 just directs you to where you can find more information should you require it. There are also explanatory notes on the back to help explain certain things, but I hope after watching this video you can now understand the benefit information statement much better and the next time you get it in the post, you won't just chin it off and throw it in the bin. If you haven't already, watch my Armed Forces Pension Scheme Explained video and the Pension Calculator video as these are key to help you understand your pension. When you come to retire, your pension will be what pays the bills. If you don't understand it, you will run into issues later on down the road and do you really want to be worrying about your financial situation in your retirement? Ideally, you want to be relaxing and spending your remaining years left on this earth as stress-free as possible. Have you received your benefit information statement yet? And if so, did you understand it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.